Hey, happy campers. We picked up a game at Walmart. It's the googly toss game, similar to something like cornhole. It's got three different holes. They have different colors on there. You have the little googly balls. Oh, can you slide back a little? All right, and Kira wants to be here with me to open this one up. Looks like we've got some tape here. Let me cut the tape. Go ahead. Look. Oh, I can see some pieces. Okay. Wow. Oh, some individual legs. This? Oh! Uh, looks like they're different. Each uh, board's two pieces. There you go. There's three googly balls. Oh, there's a fourth one that's attached to the front. I think we got to cut it out. Strapped in there. Here we go. Opening up. So it looks like a puzzle. Match up your colors, and then there are some snaps on the back. Go into those holes there. Four snaps in total. And then there's holes in the back for the legs. You want to put those... And you can mix them up if you want to. They don't have to be... Okay. So I think one of the questions would be is how would these work as far as camping goes as it's not something that comes with a case or anything for taking from campsite to campsite as well as I don't think that these so once these are snapped together it looks like they're snapped together for good. So while this might be okay RV wise if you're limited on space, you might struggle with this one. You want to put the legs in? I think that uh, Kira loves the googly balls. Because they feel so good. Now the picture on here shows the kids like on the same side, like next to each other. As opposed to like when people play cornhole, they're standing on opposite sides. Can I toss one? Sure. See, the further back you go, the harder it is. Like this. Oh, I missed. All right, you, your turn. <laughs> Not too colorful. The Halloween colors. All right, toss them in the holes. Did you just get a yellow in the yellow? A purple in the purple? What? <laughs> oh, wrong hole. Do the other one. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, don't push that in. So all in all, the googly toss game, it's fun for the little ones. The thing to watch out for is the plastic is not durable enough to endure like a five-year-old that loves to jump on things. I've worked with young kids and I know they just sometimes love to randomly jump on things. So if they do, these things are gonna get trashed quick. The other factor is for camping, once we snap these things together, I don't really see these coming apart easily. And you're gonna to wanna to take the legs off. And then you gotta find a place to put these so that you don't lose them. So you probably can easily put these two together put the leg somewhere, but then how are you going to keep it all together so you don't lose it inside your RV? How are you going to keep it all together? If you drive that fast with training wheels on, maybe you're ready for no training wheels. Just saying. <laughs> Little girl is ripping down the road with training wheels on. When it's time to travel with these things, you're gonna have to take the legs off. You're gonna have to find some place to put them. You're gonna to wanna, to... this one might be a little bit of a tough one for people to take with them camping. This might be a little bit better for a stationary type thing. With the RV, we got plenty of space. We picked this up at Walmart. It was about $20 for this. It's one of those things, the seasonal, it shows up about springtime in preparation for all the summer fun. 
like I said, it doesn't uh, really pack down all that great. But since we've got an RV, what I've done here is I put them in upside down with their legs all the way to the back of the outdoor kitchen. And then this is normally where I put all of our folding chairs across here and then our folding table across the top of those and a few extra lights in here. We hope you like this video and that you find it useful. And we hope to see you out camping. Happy camping, y'all. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Got it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Bless you. Thank you.